Join us as we delve into the untold story of Donna Summer, a legendary artist whose impact has left an everlasting impression on the world. Ten years after her passing, her children, including Brooklyn Sudano, known for her role in the hit series Taken, and her younger sister Amanda, have stepped forward to confirm some rumors and offer new insights into their extraordinary mother. Join Facts First as we present She Died Ten Years Ago, Now Her Children Confirm the Rumors. Brooklyn Speaks Out When you grow up as the daughter of disco queen Donna Summer, one might expect a childhood immersed in strobe lights and constant soundtracks of your mom's chart-topping hits. But Brooklyn Sudano, the second eldest of Summer's three children, reveals it wasn't all glamour and glitz. In a recent interview, she shared that she and her siblings were no strangers to hard work as they frequently traveled on tour buses and took on various responsibilities, like steaming their mom's band's clothes. From Brooklyn's perspective, her parents simply wanted her and her siblings to grasp the true essence of putting on a production. Despite the demanding nature of their mother's career, music naturally became an integral part of their lives. Sudano emphasizes that for her and her siblings, Donna was first and foremost their mom. They treasured their family bond above all else, and everything else served as secondary. It's worth noting that Donna passed away from cancer in 2012, leaving behind a profound legacy. While Amanda, Donna's youngest daughter, pursued a career as a professional musician, singing alongside her husband in the duo Johnny Swim, Brooklyn chose a different path and ventured into acting. Recently co-starring in the 2017 NBC action series Taken, Sudano portrayed Asha Flynn, an environmental lawyer who crosses paths with the show's heroic protagonist, Brian Mills. Brooklyn takes after her famous mom. Brooklyn's involvement in Taken brought her own artistic talents to the forefront, showcasing her acting abilities in a distinct role separate from her mother's illustrious career. While they may share a connection to the entertainment world, Brooklyn's journey in the industry has been shaped by her own choices and aspirations. It's first important to remember the impact Donna made as a music icon. Before the reign of Beyonce, Summer captivated audiences as the innocent church girl who skyrocketed to fame as the queen of disco during the hedonistic 70s. But her personal life wasn't without struggles, and at one point she even contemplated taking her own life. In her poignant interview, Brooklyn discussed the necessity of understanding the highs and lows of her mother's life. It was crucial to comprehend the challenges they overcame and the choices Donna made along the way. The 2023 HBO documentary Love to Love You, Donna Summer, co-directed by Brooklyn and Roger Ross Williams, offers a candid glimpse into the life of this extraordinary artist. Featuring never-before-seen home videos and interviews with those who knew and loved her, the film illuminates the multifaceted persona of Donna Summer. Donna's Inspirational Story Born in Boston, Donna discovered her passion for singing in the church choir. Her journey eventually led her to join the Munich company of the rock musical Hair in the 60s, eventually settling in Germany. Her marriage to Austrian actor Helmuth Sommer lasted from 1972 to 76. During this time, she released her debut album, Lady of the Night, in Europe. But it was the 1975 hit track Love to Love You, Baby that propelled her to international stardom. Summer maintained her ex-husband's last name with a slightly altered spelling. The seductive anthem, recorded with sultry vocals, was created in a unique manner. As the story goes, Donna laid on her back on the studio floor with the lights off, imagining Marilyn Monroe's sensuality as she recorded the 17-minute long single, which controversially featured over 20 simulated orgasms. The success of the song paved the way for subsequent albums like A Love Trilogy and Four Seasons of Love, solidifying Summer's image as a sex goddess. Brooklyn believes her mother's ability to embody that sensual persona stemmed from an authentic part of her personality. It wasn't an act, but rather a natural facet of her charm and talent. But being boxed into that image posed its own challenges. Brooklyn further highlighted the struggle her mother faced as an artist and the unintentional consequences of being synonymous with a particular image. While her music was being played in nightclubs, Summer constantly grappled with her religious upbringing and the conflicts it presented. She had vivid memories of her father's disapproval 
even going so far as to smack her for wearing red nail polish, associating it with promiscuity. In the HBO documentary, Summer is seen questioning the cultural perception of herself as a sex symbol, stating, quote, You're looking at me, but what you see is not what I am. How many roles do I have to play in my own life? A Dark Secret Behind closed doors, Donna carried the heavy burden of a painful secret. She had been sexually abused by her pastor as a child. With her rising fame, her depression intensified. In 1976, she reached a breaking point, nearly attempting suicide by jumping out of a window. Her foot became entangled with a window curtain just moments away from tragedy, and a maid walked in, inadvertently saving her life. Summer later expressed feelings of guilt and unworthiness, believing she had failed both herself and God. Addressing her mother's trauma in the documentary was crucial for Brooklyn and for the healing process for their family. The film sheds light on the burden Donna Summer carried and the resilience she displayed in overcoming her hardships. By openly discussing these complex topics, Brooklyn hopes to inspire others who may be struggling to find their voice. The documentary also explores Donna's tumultuous relationship with artist Peter Muldorfer, which ultimately turned violent. In the film, Peter admits to physically abusing her, expressing remorse and the burden of guilt he carries. This revelation came as a surprise to the filmmakers, highlighting the complexities of Summer's life and the willingness of those involved to share their experiences. Brooklyn firmly believes that keeping secrets and burying pain only perpetuates the cycle while open conversations can lead to growth and understanding. Donna's Final Years Donna Summers' final years were focused on her family, having married Bruce Sudano in 1980 and welcoming their two daughters. She embraced her role as a mother, cherishing the normalcy that came with it. Despite the scandals and controversies that surrounded her, Summer found love and acceptance in her relationship and her spiritual awakening as a born-again Christian. Through the recently released documentary, Love to Love You, we have the opportunity to celebrate her artistry, but also to try to understand the woman behind the music. A woman who faced adversity, carried secrets, and ultimately found healing. Brooklyn's Latest Projects Since the conclusion of Taken, Brooklyn has continued to make her mark in the industry with a range of exciting projects. In 2021, Sudano captivated audiences, with her performance as Angela Prescott in the freeform thriller series Cruel Summer. Her portrayal of this complex character demonstrated her depth as an actress and further solidified her presence on the small screen. She's also ventured into filmmaking, having co-created the documentary we mentioned. Since 2022, she's been a cast member of the NBC sitcom Grand Crew. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite memory of Donna Summer? Let us know in the comments section below.